Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some player movement tricks and also how to make smooth movement in Scratch, which I've always had trouble with, and maybe even some circling if you stick around to the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned. So there are some really cool tricks in here that only take a few blocks. So if you want to see how to do these tricks, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And let's get on with the video. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is the player movement. So put a when green flag clicked and a forever loop. Now, if you really want to be fancy, you can go to my blocks and type move and add an input, which is number of text and put steps. Make sure to run without screen refresh since this is not an animation. It's an actual mechanic. So press OK and you can put the new block in here. So this will be the speed. So you can put a speed of, say, 5, which sounds right. So which means that every frame of the second, every frame, the cat will move 5 steps forward, which is 5 pixels on your screen. So as you can see, it's made of tiny pixels, and there are 480 pixels by 360 pixels on the Scratch interface screen, which means that every 1 30th of a second, it will move 5 of these pixels. So, we need to define what move steps means. So, we'll change x by a multiply sign and a minus sign. Now, you might be confused because we'll need to use sensing, and none of the sensing blocks will fit in here. But this really cool trick that I've always used for any of my scratch projects, you put a key right arrow breast minus a key left arrow breast, and it automatically comes up as a 1 or a 0. So if you're pressing the right arrow key, it will come up as a yes, because when putting in a operator block, then the sensing blocks that say false or true will automatically be changed to 1 and 0. So this is a super useful mechanic that you always have to use in your games. So put that in the first one and multiply by the steps so that you move faster. So make the same for change Y, and this time put up arrow pressed minus down arrow pressed. Make sure it's in the correct order. So now you should see if I press the green flag, I can use my arrow keys to move the player around. That's pretty fast. Or I can change the speed to 20, and you can see my player zooming around the screen with light speed, or maybe one. That's the slowest cat I've ever seen. So the next trick I'm going to show you is the smooth movement trick. This is so cool. So we're going to leave this for now, and I'm going to disconnect this when green flag clicked. So let's put another when green flag clicked down here. And forever, we change x by a times operator and put another minus operator on the left. So put x position over here. And then this is going to be the desired position for your cat. So let's put 100. And then you can, this is going to be like the smoothest. So 0 0.1 will take really long and 0 0.5 will make a quick snappy, but it's still noticeably smooth movement. So let's set it to 0 0.05. I want it to be really slow. Look at that. My cat is moving so smoothly. I love it. And just to show the effect, I'm going to set X to minus 240 when it starts. So look at that. The cat moves smoothly perfectly over. So let's change this to 0 0.5 so the cat moves quickly. You can see it's it's still pretty fast, but it's noticeably smoother. So let's change this and make it always follow my mouse pointer. So you just change X and Y, and instead of using X position, you can use mouse X and mouse Y. Mouse X and mouse Y can go in the first ones, and then X position and Y position will go in the second inputs. So the mouse X is what the position you want to go to, and the X position is the current position. So if you're doing this with anything custom, like a follower, then you can put this is um, the 100 will be what you want it to go, and this blank input will be where you are right now. So if you press the green flag, you can see it follows my mouse subtly smoothly, and you can set it to be smoother, maybe through one axis smoother. Let's make it 0 0.05. And you can see it's following my mouse so well 
this would work so great with this mouse pointer that I did in my first scratch video because it would like gently follow you around and it just feels so satisfying. And um, since I have scratch extensions, I'll turn on um, 60 FPS mode using the Alt and Shift green flag. Check out one of my other videos on how to get scratch add-ons so you can see that. And if you go on Turbo Warp, you can get it to 250 FPS. So if we slow this down, this will be the most satisfying thing in all of history. My cat's following me so smoothly. This just feels so unnatural for Scratch. So the last really cool trick I'm going to show you is here. In a scrolling game. So let's make a variable called the scroll X. Or not. You guys actually thought I was going to do a scrolling game. So now we can connect this back this green, green flag clicked, and then disconnect this, and then just kind of connect this here, and then we need to make two new variables called change x for all sprites and change y for all sprites. So when clicked, you want to set change x and change y to zero, and then you want to change change x and change change y by all of this. So you don't want to move the change x. So instead, you're going to use the smoothing algorithm and the moving alg algorithm at the same time. So x position is the one that we already have, so we'll keep that there. But this mouse x and y, they need to change because that's the thing we want to go to. So instead of being controlled by the mouse, we want them to be controlled by all of this script, our arrow keys. So we'll make it change x and change y. And then you need to make two new, two, two new variables called scroll x and scroll y. So change, uh, sets, you change scroll x and scroll y by these. And I was being silly guys, delete these change x and change y variables. You can use scroll y, scroll x and scroll y. Okay, so replace those with scroll X and scroll Y. I think that's just a better name. And let's see about that. Oops, what's happening? Oh, okay, we didn't put these in. So this was here and this was here. So I'm just doing some debugging, guys. This is the wrong order. So make sure the scroll X will go first and do not forget to put this X position and Y position here. So I'm just gonna set the smoothness to this um, define block. So I'm going to edit for a bit. So I'm going to put move with speed and change this name to speed. And I'm going to make this the smoothness. Smoothness. Okay. So now we can choose what speed and smoothness we want. So I'll choose a speed of 10 and smoothness of 0 0.1. That seems nice. And you can change that depending on what you want. So put the smoothness in here. And then press the green flag and you can see this is the smoothest thing I've ever seen in any RPG game. Of course, it's kind of unnatural for an RPG game. And you can hear my arrow keys. And if you want to customize this for the WASD controls as well, you can put a key right arrow pressed or D key pressed. So you can see I'm pressing D as well. It works, but... I, you need to customize it for every single other key. So I hope this was a cool video. There were quite a few bugs in there. I don't remember very well. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.